Okay, to begin with, you take your TGI tracker and turn it on. Okay? And then your LED screen will come on on the other side. So what we have uh, here, what these buttons do on top. Okay? Um, we have the menu button here, OK button, forward and reverse. But in small gray letters, you have this button is the Wi Fi. This also right here on the side, it says that it's uh, info. And then this one on the side says that it's the mode button. The OK button is also a mode button. And the menu button is also a back button. Of course, we know that's the record button. There. Realizing these buttons are multifunction. So what we want to do here is we want to hit them. Uh, when you're in this recording screen, if you can see it there, there's a uh, camera, a video camera on the top left. Uh, it also shows me how wide my view is, which is the narrow view. And it does have IS, which is image stabilization on. My battery's full. And it looks like that's the time down there of how, mu how many hours I got left uh, on this particular SD card. That's the time left, is what I presume, okay? And so what we want to do when we're, we see this video uh, icon up there is hit the OK button, and it's going to get you to the secondary sub-menu. And you can see it there. It has various, you got to do it quickly. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit the OK button. Uh, and then you can scroll through the camera, timers, uh, settings or setup and then so we want to go down to settings there and hit OK or the wrench okay hit OK and scroll through this set of windows uh, that has uh, various things uh, formatting your um, SD card reset that's how you get out you have to scroll all the way to exit to get out of this mode so we want to scroll around until we see um, the uh, Wi-Fi icon which is right there okay so that puts us in Wi-Fi mode and then with our phone um, we want to uh, we're gonna hit start on this device and then we're gonna turn on our Wi-Fi uh, on our phones okay or turn it on and off so that it'll access it I'll try to get the screen so we can see everything so I'm gonna come here to my Wi-Fi icon. I don't know where yours is on an Android, but this is, excuse me, on an iPhone, but this is Android. So uh, there's my icon. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start, okay, or okay. you got to hit it twice. And now it's busy, and you'll see the blue light flashing on top saying that it's trying to connect, okay. Uh, and then that uh, shows up. You get your Wi-Fi going, and then you go to your shortcut and go to um, OI Share, the blue icon. Okay, this one here, this blue one, that's what I started with. And it says to sign on to the Wi-Fi, and because I've already done that, uh, I'm already at the screen that I need to be. And what I found was, it'll tell you that... Uh, It'll tell you on your phone that uh, you're, you're connected down at the bottom, okay? You can see it turn blue. It's usually grayed out down here, but it says it's on and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. When I initially did this, you had to use this, whatever you call these funny little, little symbols here, um, and you would line it up on your phone and it would automatically, uh, it would automatically register a quick setup. And that is down at the bottom where it says, uh, normally it's, uh, right now it says TJ Tracker's on and you can power it off from here. But it says quick setup. You hit quick setup and then, uh, and have your phone, uh, you know, zoom in. It'll zoom in to a small uh, square and then it registers it on your phone. So it uh, identifies this TJI Tracker with this phone on the Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I accidentally hit a button there. So I'm connected actually. So I could uh, import videos. Uh, I can do different things. Now, when I, uh, just to, uh, real quickly, 
when I got to this point on my original setup, it wasn't connecting. I didn't have, it would say, trying to connect, wouldn't connect. Try to connect, wouldn't connect. And all I did was to somehow speed up the process was I hit this button back here, this back arrow, the arrow to my right here, or the rear of the camera, and got out of this screen like that, and it, and it said uh, the password of your uh, Wi-Fi, and it's a TJ tracker and the SSID number. And once I hit that, this connected right away. So if you're having trouble connecting, try hitting this back arrow to see if that helps, okay, uh, to get this thing connected. And then um, the next time, uh, it didn't, the next couple of times, it didn't come to this screen right away. I had to re-register it. and um, I won't say it was problematic, but it, you know, it, it, after the second time, you can see now it, it works perfectly. As soon as I turn my Wi-Fi on, it finds my, um, my phone, and now I'm able to integrate and uh, you know, interact with the, with the software. So it's showing you that I have a video. Uh, so right now, if I hit import images, okay, that's the image that is on, that you're seeing on my phone, is the image that's inside my tracker. So um, I can click on it and I can play it, okay? It'll play, but it'll play without audio. Um, so uh, you can just kind of review it there. And then, um, <clears throat> If I want to download it, I hit pause. If I want to download it from here, from my TGI tracker to my phone, it's not there yet. I'm just kind of using Wi-Fi to, to speak to it. Then there's an icon up here that's the typical download icon. And as soon as I hit that, it starts importing. Okay. So then it imports into the phone and uh, depending on how big the file is will determine how fast it is and how fi fast your Wi-Fi is. This is a very short video so it's going to go pretty quick. Um, what I found uh, that I I couldn't find it once it's in here and I haven't found that yet. It says that it's in the Olympus folder and I'm not even good enough with my phone to know where folders are so that's my problem not necessarily a software problem. So it's downloading it, and uh, so it's coming from uh, Wi-Fi uh, from the TGI tracker, and it tells you right here when it's done, import complete, image saved to Olympus folder. You may turn off the camera. So I can, not, because I'm, being, I'm controlling the camera through my uh, phone, I can turn it off here, but I don't want to turn it off. I wanted to show you some other functions. So up. there it is. That's uh, Wi-Fi connectivity with your TGI tracker. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful for those that are wondering about the software. It is usable. Uh, uh, one other thing I'd like to say I, that I've learned from the TGI tracker, and that is I'm going to get out of uh, this Wi-Fi mode. And so um, I'm going to hit OK, OK, back using the menu button. So that takes me back. Remember, it's a multi-function button. That gets me back to the regular recording screen, screen in normal operation. And um, what I now I want to get to the video screen and hit OK. When I was in here and you hit uh, Menu, it takes you to the screen that deals with videotaping because that's the screen we're in. And so, this is where uh, we're in the video screen. And then you can you know, do the um, exposure, plus or minus, uh, white balance. And right here is where I wanted to share something with you that uh, I didn't realize. In this screen, I'm going to hit, this is the wide angle or underwater view, okay? But I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to scroll through it so you can see there's the narrow angle, okay? There's the wide angle, but it also shows an arrow right on the right side of that that uh, image there that it's going to flip your image upside down uh, wide narrow wide flip narrow flip so really you have one two three four different modes you can get uh, in this particular field of view screen and so
But I didn't realize those arrows were there and I put it on narrow flip and all, when I did a couple of videos, all my videos were upside down. And so if you experience upside down videos, guess what? That's probably what it is. That is what it is. Unless your camera's upside down. So anyway, uh, that was a helpful tip, tip that I uh, found out yesterday. Another thing I found out was, I'm going to turn it off, uh, that might be helpful to those with the camera that's just getting the camera, is when you open this and you access this SD card, which it's not hard to do. On some cameras, it's very hard to do, not on this one. But what's what you've got to be really aware of is you can accidentally slip this back in between the battery and the housing and not get it in the actual slot. And I did that. Okay. So it goes in like that. You know, the image goes on the side of the battery. But if you get it in between, then what you have to do, if you happen to do that, release your battery by pushing that red button to your left and then let your camera and the SD card fall out into your hand, okay? Uh, because I did do that, and uh, it's very easy to do because there's just enough width <laughs> to get that SD card in between the battery and the housing and not in its proper slot. Other than that, I've been taking some short videos. Um, I think it's pretty darn good camera uh, for the price, and the price has definitely come down. This is a so you have to set it up properly in the beginning and you have to, um, you know, make sure that you have the right programs in your phone. And uh, everything should work fine. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a good day.